So you've got to go back. I'm talking back into time. If you want to truly discover when and where your life went awry, you've got to stop looking away from your past and look directly into it. I don't mean just remembering your childhood, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and those who wronged you. What I mean is really looking and looking with the intent of completing it. We've all got a past, and that past has yielded who we are today. Sure, you're making it. Yeah, perhaps you've got what you think is a fantastic life. But when you lay down in bed at night, something is missing, and you've been trying for years to pinpoint exactly what it is and have been unsuccessful. If you haven't already completely blocked it out of your mind, I invite you to think back to when you were a child. You were vivacious, bold, fearless, and undaunted. And then it happened. Someone told you that you weren't capable of doing something, that you would never amount to anything, and you didn't have what it takes to be great. You swallowed that. You gave those words meaning and life. Not them, but you did it. You got to take responsibility for that. What happened is that you took those small phrases, those empty and innocent little words, and you gave that story you made up about it, wings that would carry you to wherever you are today. You see, you didn't realize it, perhaps even not until right now in this moment, that you told yourself a story about what was said. And that story would reverberate in your being for decades and decades to come. And it would create whomever you've come to be in life today. That bold-faced little lie changed the course of your life. And you've been on that path ever since. Thinking and telling yourself, this is just who I am. Well, you know what? I have news for you. It's not. You are so much greater, so much more powerful than you ever imagined and would give yourself credit for. You are a true force of nature. However, me telling you that through this microphone won't make any difference at all, now will it? Maybe it'll provide some momentary inspiration and a few goosebumps for you to feel good about, but without a clear picture of where to start, you will stay right where you are unhappy, unfulfilled, angry, and frustrated. What you have, you will continue to have until it is transformed. Now, what do I mean when I say transformed? I mean made into something entirely new and vastly different than whatever was there before. This transformed you will contain very little of the remnants of your past. Now, what would it take? to have this kind of breakthrough happen. Do you even know? I'm sure you've already tried and to no avail. It isn't easy, I promise, I get that. Because you can't really see what's there. Going back to what I said in the beginning, that you must complete your past. What do I mean when I say this? I mean coming to a point where there is literally nothing more there for you to distinguish or talk about when it comes to your past. That kind of completion will require a lot from you. Are you ready to take responsibility for that? It will require you letting go. It will require you to forgive, to acknowledge, and to confront, and to begin creating anew. And if you were to do that work, <laughs> if you were to put yourself on that altar, so to speak, and admit that this was all a story that you made up all by yourself about something someone else said or did to you. What in the world would open up for you and your life?